Hey, my name is Michael and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iOS app icon template. With this template, you can render all iOS app icon sizes from a single size. You can smart preview your app icon inside iOS screenshots and it includes one click export actions, which will neatly spit out all the different file sizes that you need to bundle with your app. What you need is the files that you've downloaded from Apply Pixels. And in this folder, you'll find the main template file, the actions file, the ATN file, and a readme file, and an app icon set folder with a JSON file inside it. If you're not a developer, don't worry about that last one. But stop, before I dive into showing you how we use this template, you need to import the actions. You simply do that by double clicking the ATN file, and that will make the actions show up in your actions pane in Photoshop. It's a bunch of different actions here. If you don't see your actions pane, you can always access it by going to window and finding actions. Okay, once we have the actions in place, we can go ahead and open up the main PSD file. It looks something like this, and it is without a doubt one of the most popular templates I've ever made. Let me show you why. The core concept behind this template is that you create the largest size that you need and have all of the other sizes rendered out automatically. There's a bunch of stuff out here in the layers pane, but all you need to concern yourself with is this layer right here called edit me and save. You can go right ahead and right click that and hit edit contents. This opens up the icon PSP file, which is a nested smart object file. And it's in here that you'll do your magic. This is where you create your icon. This smart object comes bundled with a lot of little cool details. Let's just show you some of the stuff out here in the layers pane. First of all, we've got a little apply pixel glyph here. You have a folder called guides. In here, you will see the outer mask, which gives you an idea of the squircle shape that Apple will apply to your icon once it is cropped. And you've got an inner mask, should you need it, should you create some sort of edge effect on your icon, you can use the inner mask. And you obviously have the very popular icon grid, which you can build off or you can leave it alone. It's not exactly a requirement, but it's nice to have as a reference when you're creating the composition of your icon. I like to leave that open. If we just close up the guides folder and continue onwards, we also have a neat little alpha and beta badges for those test flight builds. And bundled with the template also comes a bunch of the standard iOS colors and the exact gradients used on the platform. So you can build off these classic gradients. Okay, enough of that. Let's create an icon. Let's go ahead and hide the little glyph. And seeing as this isn't exactly a tutorial on how to create fantastic icons, you can go and find some of my other work for that, uh, but rather just a way to show you how the template works. We're gonna go with something very simple, like a classic heart. Remember to hide the grid. And uh, once we're done with this masterpiece, we will hit Control S on a Windows PC or Command S on a Mac just to save the smart object. And you can then close it. And boom, here you have all the different sizes rendered out automatically. And it really allows you to study how your concept scales. And you even have some pretty cool preview action going on in the native screens, in the App Store. So you can really see how your icon looks next to some of the standard stock icons that comes with the platform. You can obviously go back and forth here until you are satisfied with your concept. And once you are ready to export it, you'll need to find those actions that we imported earlier. And you'll notice that it actually comes with four different actions. That's not done purposefully to confuse you. The first two uses a dialog box and a particular type of scaling that's a little harsher, a little more sharp. The second two uses bicubic scaling, which is a bit smoother. And it also unfortunately only works on the Mac. So for the most part, a lot of people will just use the first two. Now you can either choose to use the square icon export or the rounded icon export. Now remember that Apple doesn't allow transparency in your icons. So if you're delivering these icons to a developer or if you're bundling these icons with your app, you always wanna use the square icon export. And we can go right ahead and play that action. It'll hit you with a dialog box and you'll just hit save, you'll save it. And if you go to your desktop or wherever you saved it, you'll now notice that there's a folder called app icon squared. And in this folder, you have all of the different sizes that you need to bundle with your app. That is pretty neat. Now let's just say that you wanted to export the rounded icon. You'll do the exact same thing. Choose the rounded icon export action. Hit play. It gives you a dialog box. Look at that lovely curve. Hit save. 
And now you'll find a folder called App Icon Rounded. And in here you have all the different sizes neatly rounded. And you might need these maybe for a presentation or on a website. But remember, when you're bundling your icon, always use the squared version that does not have transparency in them. And that is pretty much how you use the iOS app icon template. You can get this resource and a bunch of other cool design templates by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you to more quickly render out different concepts, and I hope it helps you make better icons. Thanks for watching.